Good morning, YouTube family. It is October 19th, Monday of launch week. Super excited for this week, but um, first and foremost, got class. So uh, about to head to class now. It is about 7.45 a.m. Um, I've only got one class today at 8.30. Other than that one class, I'm going to be able to get a lot of work done. So um, that's what I love about my Mondays. I really have a lot of time to just um, pour into um, my business, pour into um, homework, pour into just work in general. And that's what I love about these Mondays um, with only one class. But about to go to class now, get that out of the way. Come back, get to work, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so just got back from class, got back from lunch, uh, went to go eat right after um, class, and what I'm doing right now is just updating and continuously working on my website, tregfisher.com. Um, that way I can get it ready for my t-shirt launch, but I'm also doing a lot more than adding t-shirts to my website. I'm adding an entire new tab on there um, called do-it-yourself programs. What those do-it-yourself programs are going to include is ab routines. Um, I'm also going to put on my workout split and routine. So basically what I've been doing for the past six to eight weeks, I'm going to outline and put up on my website, you guys are going to be able to purchase it. It's a one-time purchase. There's not any personal training that comes with it. It's just a follow it yourself, do it yourself type of program. Same with the ab routine. And then over time, I'll add more programs to that do it yourself thing. Because um, I know a lot of people do just want to uh, take a program, kind of like what bodybuilding.com offers, and then um, just apply it to what they're doing. Um, if they want macro coaching, um, that's what the online coaching is going to kind of encompass at this point. I'm kind of moving away from workout routines and macro coaching and then just kind of doing more hands-on macro coaching and um, and then the do-it-yourself workout program. So that is what I'm working on right now and then also making sure all the t-shirt stuff is ready to go as well. Um, that is a lot more uh, meeting with other people about shipping and stuff like that. So that's probably going to get taken care of over the next two days. Um, but right now just updating a few more uh, different eyes and ends things on my website. So I'm um, really excited to get that ready to go. Really excited to get that ready for you guys. Um, but about to finish some more of this and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right guys, so sitting here working on my website right now and just got a question on Snapchat asking me about my opinion on The Walking Dead. If you guys follow my YouTube channel, you follow my Twitter, my Snapchat, you guys know I like watching The Walking Dead. So I figured I would answer this question really quick. Um, season six of The Walking Dead is already my favorite because season six is moving forward they have spent very little time backtracking even though the very first episode of season six was spent a lot of kind of like plot building um episode two in my opinion this last week's episode yesterday last night was the best non-season finale episode of the walking dead ever um they got right to it they started moving the plot forward uh, very fast paced, very unlike The Walking Dead type of episode, and I loved it. Um, I definitely think that if they keep that pace throughout the season, they are not only going to make their current fans very happy, they are going to gain an even bigger fan base than they already have, which I definitely think they need to do and capitalize on because Fear of the Walking Dead turned a lot of people off. In my opinion, Fear of the Walking Dead was terrible. I really did not enjoy it. I mean, I enjoyed watching it because it was a lot of fun talking crap and complaining about every single aspect, every single detail of Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, but I definitely think Walking Dead now, uh, the main show, needs to capitalize and uh, really kind of bring in some of that fan base back because Fear of the Walking Dead kind of crapped on that franchise in my opinion. But um, that's my opinion on The Walking Dead. I really do enjoy the show. Season 6 is awesome so far. If you guys are not watching The Walking Dead, Go look it up on Netflix, fly through it. You guys are definitely going to like watching on watching it on Netflix um, rather than watching it live because some of the earlier seasons it takes a little while for the plot to develop. But if you're watching on Netflix, you can just fly right through it. So um, do I recommend watching The Walking Dead? I do, especially because season six now is a lot better than it's been in the past. So um, yeah, that's my quick thoughts on The Walking Dead. going to get back to work now and I'll uh, see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so getting ready to head to the gym right now, going to be making up my pre-workout. And what I'm having today 
is a little bit different. I ran out of C4. So what I'm going to be having today is the Isatori pre-grow pre-workout. Now, I've actually been taking pre-grow for about five days at this point because um, my C4 ran out last week. And I do have to say that I love this stuff. I mean, it tastes delicious and my pumps because of the pre grow or because of the bio grow in this have been awesome and you know every time you take a new pre-workout it doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's got a different um amount of beta alanine in it really whatever it is you're gonna get tingles and you're gonna really feel it a lot sorry real shaky right now so um going to set you guys back down right there but um yeah really loving this pre-grow now, I don't, I'm not affiliated with Isatori or anything, so I don't have a discount code or anything like that, but um, I definitely do recommend the Pre-Grow. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I also really like, I mean, I'm not going to dog the C4 from Cellucor at all whatsoever. That's still probably my favorite pre-workout, uh, the C450X. But this stuff is no slouch either. So I'm um, about to head to the gym now, hit chest, and I'll see you guys there. So finished up my chest workout. It is just about the two minute warning. So definitely think I'm gonna be able to get home before that new Star Wars trailer airs. So hopefully I make it home in time and I'll let you guys know what I think of the new Star Wars trailer. Super excited. Even though I had to run here, made it just in time. Who are you? That's so cool, seeing Kylo Ren kind of pick up that mantle of Darth Vader 